I was, was like, trust, trust, I promise you, it's going to be there. But I mean, I think they did an incredible oh, I job agree. Um, in that moment. I had love at first sight, as you two both know. Um, so I believed in it. Of course, you don't know if it's going to translate on screen. You can't know until you, you know, you get to the edit. I felt, I felt it between them in the moment. Um, David and I talked a lot, and we always knew that we didn't want this love to be exoticized. I was like, I'm, we're both in interracial relationships, and it was like, I'm not having this love exoticized in any way. And so, how do you find that? Loves are usually exo uh, exoticized well, it, in, it, in it, film. It's really often, or in life, sometimes with this sort of pejorative understanding that, you know, I, what, for instance, what I didn't want is for anybody to think Ruth had never spoken to a black man before and so the first one that speaks to her is, is suddenly a curiosity, is suddenly interesting in some way and that's what also drives her to go to Africa as opposed to two souls finding each other, you know, she's she's not just intrigued by what he's saying, she hears him speak, but she's interested in how he's saying it, his whole demeanor. Um, and, and, and I wanted it to feel like she falls in love with his mind, that that's the first thing that pulls her attention, that through all these conversations in the room, this voice, something in his voice, something in what he's saying, something in the way that he's saying it, is what captures her attention. And I, I love the look that Rosamund gives that we have in the film, you know, that kind of semi-double take that she gives. And then you're just, for me, completely drawn in. You you know she can't take her eyes off of him in that moment. And and then the, the awkwardness that David um, channels, as Sorette say, and just, know, you know he's feeling something that he's not used to feeling and he doesn't know why. And... I guess that's what happens when there's love at first sight. You 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 question it and 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 you challenge it. You know, he questions it. She goes with it. She goes with that feeling, um, and it, and then the rest is history. I guess. I don't want to detour too fast, but you said it, and I think it's a point of interest for everybody now. What was love at first sight like for you? It was like that moment in many ways. I mean, we, I mean, we slowed it down a tiny bit in the film. We didn't take it down to real slow motion. Um, but I do remember um, seeing my husband walk across a room, and he is a, he's, a, he's beautiful to me, but I'm sure to all of you, he would be just a very ordinary guy. And, um, you know, and, I li and he took off his tie. I remember him taking off his tie. We were having a business meeting, and I, we'd never met before. And he said he took off his tie because he didn't want to appear stiff. But to me, it was kind of like Superman taking off his tie <laughs> in slow motion. And, um, yeah, I just knew in that moment that I would be his wife. <laughs>